Hi guys, welcome to, to today's tutorial. Um, this will be one of three lessons on logarithms or better known as logs. There's been a couple of requests by a few people, so I thought I'd get one out there. Um, I've been looking around, I haven't seen too many good introductions to, to logarithms and that's probably going to say that mine's probably going to be um, not that great either because logarithms is quite hard um, to begin with. You'll start seeing as we move on with the more challenging questions, the whole reasons behind logs, um, and it will become easier. Um, to start off with, I'm going to just write a little equation here, a to the power of y is equal to x. The whole reason we use logs, it might not seem as evident in this particular tutorial, but often it's to find the value of an unknown index, indice or power. Okay. For example, you might have a question that says 6 to the power of x is equal to 36. I mean, this one's not too bad because obviously you know that 6 squared is 36, you can say x is equal to 2. Okay. But for other questions, like you might have 5 to the power of x equals 36. We know that 5 squared is 25, 5 cubed is 125, so it's got to be somewhere between 2 and 3, but we're not exactly sure. You can't divide, you can't, it's very hard to do. So that's one of the reasons behind logs, is in order to rearrange this somehow using logarithms, in order to find that value of the x. Okay, which will be decimal place in that particular question. The idea or, or the reason behind this particular tutorial will be trying to rearrange these formulas or these equations into log form. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to have to learn is how to write this into log form. So we start with log. Now, a is, the, is what we call the base of this particular equation. You know, it has the the base is the a with the indice, which is the y, the x is my answer. Likewise here, the 6 would be my base with the power of x. So we say the log with the base, in this case of base a, we then write the answer is equal to the indice. So that will assist us later on because obviously the indice is what we're trying to find and it will allow us to find what y is equal to. Obviously, this bit here is a bit confusing at the moment. It will get easier. So let's have a, just a quick look on the other side here. We've got 6 to the power of x equals 36. How would we um, rewrite that in terms of log form? Well, we'd start off by doing our log. The base, as we said before, was 6. So I put a little 6 there. And then the answer, which is 36, is equal to x. Okay, and that's all I'm really trying to do with this particular um, tutorial. So again, all we're trying to do is starting with, with uh, you know, an, sort of an equation and then trying to rewrite it in log form. So we might start with this one. We might start a nice easy one and say 3 squared is equal to 9. Obviously we know 3 squared equals to 9. There's no sort of unknowns there, but how would I write that in log form? Okay, so I'm going to start with log. We know it's the base of 3. The answer, which is 9, is equal to 2. You might put 2 is equal to log 3 of 9, okay, and that's all I want us to look at. I'm going to do another one, I'm going to do um, 4 to the power of 3 equals 64. Why don't you pause it, have a quick go and see if you can write that in terms of log form. Okay, so hopefully you've put log, now the base again is the 4, because it has the power, so log 4, we put the answer and then equals to 3, which is our indice. Again, again, we're having our indice as our equals 2. That's what we'll be looking at later on. Okay, what about a third one? Um, we might try a one slightly more challenging. I'm going to do 10 to the negative 3 is equal to 0 0.001. So again, pause it, have a go at it. Okay, so hopefully you've got your log. The base in this case is our 10. So log 10, then we've got our answer, which is 0 0.001 is equal to our indice of minus 3. Log 10 is a nice one because actually we have a button on our calculator, which you may have seen, which is log, which is actually the log with base 10. And what we'll be doing is later on in using the harder questions, we'll be using that information and using log 10 in order to find the value of those, uh, of those, of those indices. Okay, let's go for a really hard one now. This will be uh, D. So we're going to do, do um, 7 to the power of 1 third is equal to 
the cubed root of 7. Okay, so again, a more challenging question. We're going to start by writing down our log. Now the base obviously is the 7 there. Our answer is the cube root of 7 is equal to the indice of 1 third. Okay, so again, all we're doing is practicing being able to write these indices with our answer in terms of log. Okay, we're only going to do one more, and that will probably do us this lesson. Okay, so this is going to be um, E. So we're going to do, actually, um, what I actually might give you, so I'm going to do a little differently. I'm going to give you log of 10, um, 100 equals 2. I want you to do the opposite now. That's probably not a bad thing. I want you to go back and put that in index form. Okay, index form. So hopefully we remember that 10 is our base. So 10 is our base. That part is our indice. And obviously our answer is going to be there, which is 100. Okay, actually I might give you one more of that particular type of question. Okay. I'm going to give you um, the log of 3. I might do 27 equals 3. So can you write that back in index form, please? Pause it, have a crack at it, and then play it. Okay, so hopefully you've put our base, which is 3, our indice, which is 3, and then our answer, which is 27. Okay, which obviously we know that 3 cubed is 27. So if look, a very brief introduction of how to write um, our little equations in log form and vice versa. Okay, it's very important that you can do this. So when we start looking at our logarithm laws, then you're then able to, uh, to fully uh, grasp the idea. Okay, as I said, probably not the best introduction, um, but hey, it's part one. Hopefully part two is a little bit better. Cheers.